oral agents, what do they do? They're making the, your already very tired pancreas uh, produce more insulin in response to the meal. And when you eat barley, you require less of a response simply because your blood sugar doesn't rise that quickly. By the time the blood sugar rises, you have lost 50% of your, uh, your secretory capacity into the bloodstream. We diagnose uh, diabetes sort of backwards. There's like a 12 to 20 year lead up to the elevation of blood sugar, but the, the elevated insulin levels occur very quickly. So that's why you'll see the screening now of the young people in grammar school where they're looking for the dark patches, you know, in this area, on the neck, uh, elbows, maybe the palms, the creases of the palms and the knees. These are, it's called acanthosis, nigricans. That is an indication that your insulin levels are elevated and that certain number of those people are gonna go on to pancreatic exhaustion and the development of diabetes, especially like in Native American populations. If you can identify them and then say, hmm, well, we kind of need to intervene here. And if we can switch over, say, like the Koreans do, what do the Koreans do? They will take barley and they will mill it to make it look like rice, okay? And they will sell, because they had a shortage of rice. So they said, well, that was a blessing. So then they, they, they sold people barley that, that really, that they were thinking they were eating rice, but actually has much, much better benefit on their, on their blood sugar. Elevated insulin levels and diabetes, they do a lot of, there's a lot of damage that's done, okay? And so if you can control the insulin, that's what I tell the patients, I say, look, if you can, and I told the residents, if you control the insulin, you'll control the machine. You just have to let the patient know that we're feeding you to reduce your insulin levels so that your pancreas can get rest. The reason why diabetes occurs and the sugar comes up when we can give them that label is pancreatic exhaustion.